Hey, Warren Eckstein here. Free feeding, good idea or maybe not such a good idea. You know, free feeding is based on the idea of leaving food down all day long, an unlimited amount of food in your dog's bowl for your dogs to graze on all day long. Convenient, yes, you fill the bowl once a day and you're done, especially if you're out of the house a lot and work long hours. Well, not so fast. Free feeding can also also be a very serious problem and can cause some major issues for your dog. Sure, some dogs will nosh a little bit now and a little bit later, but others will eat it all at one time and that's not healthy or good for them. You know, free feeding can increase a dog's risk for becoming overweight or even obese. And by the way, 50% of dogs in this country are now considered overweight or obese. But not only that, diabetes can be caused by overfeeding. Joint problems can be caused by overfeeding because of the obesity. Even things like high blood pressure, which we don't often think about with our dogs, but yes, dogs do get high blood pressure. Certain types of cancer can also be traced back to overfeeding and obesity as well as kidney disease. And many, many other health problems that may shorten your dog's life, and I'm sure no one, no one wants to do that. If possible, I recommend feeding your dog twice a day, and in some cases, three times. However, a lot of people do work a lot, so there are alternatives for you guys. There are automatic feeders out there where you can set to feed a certain amount at a certain time. They even have things now on your, on your cell phone where you can call and it opens up so your dog can eat at that point. I just want to stress the idea, the concept that free feeding, I know it's, it's, it's comfortable, your dog has food all day long, but as I said, it can cause so, so many issues. As a matter of fact, some people actually say that free feeding a dog can actually cause your dog to become uh, more food uh, possessive. I don't necessarily agree with that, but they say it can be done. So I want you to understand. I want you to feed your dogs two, three times a day. Don't overfeed them, make them feel comfortable, make them feel happy. But again, free feeding, I guess in some cases, and I'm sure I'm going to get some people say, well, I've been free feeding my dog for years and it works wonders. Well, I get the other side of the story very often about some of the pros and cons. I wrote them down, so let me give you some of them. The free feeding pros. Uh, let me give you the cons first. The number one con with free feeding is that it puts a lot of pets at risk for eating and obesity, as I just said. It can be hard to do in a multiple pet household. What if you have one cat that, that nibbles and, and one dog that eats it all at one time? Because the pets eat throughout the day can cause difficulty with housebreaking as well, especially with a younger dog. And depending on your environment, it can be unhealthy. It can be sitting around all day and not be good anymore. However, here are some of the pros. Pets can eat as much as they need. They're never left feeling famished or between meals. That's a pro. Uh, they never have to miss a meal if you're running late. Again, we can't just, just let our pets eat when they want to eat. They have to eat at a specific time. It's, it's much healthier for them. Again, there's all kinds of things on the market you can use to regulate what time your dog or cat is getting fed. But again, listen, one of the first books I ever wrote was a book called Pet Aerobics. And this goes back many, many years ago because I saw the problem happening already, the obesity crisis. It happened before even free feeding. We talk about it. But if you have no other option, maybe you can get one of those gadgets that you, you plug in or works on batteries that can set the feeding time throughout the day. But just letting your dog, especially if it's the type of dog that, that really uh, uh, likes to eat all at one time, not such a good idea. We're going to talk more on the show, but I want you to understand free feeding, you got to make your choice. I prefer smaller feedings throughout the day. That's the way I eat, and I think it's healthier for my dogs as well. I'm more next time. I never, ever miss the pet show.